Have you ever thought about how much our lifestyle has changed in the last 10 to 15 years? For a start, we almost seem to be busy. There's not much spare time. Where we live is different. We're in high rise. We don't have big backyards anymore. The houses might be big, but there's certainly not too much space around. So if you love to have a dog, what do you do? Well, you need to have a closer look. See what I mean? Welcome to the world of little dogs. This has to be one of the most recognisable toy breeds of dog in the entire world. They are, of course, hugs. Now, most of them come in this colour of fawn, but if you're lucky, you can snatch a black one occasionally. What's good about them? Well, you look at their head and you think they had all the worries of the world. <laughs> Just the reverse. These guys are full-on fun the whole time. Just look at this lot go, racing around the backyard at a million miles an hour. They're easy to look after because they have a nice short coat. The only thing you need to watch are the eyes. Keep them nice and clean the whole time. Did they have any drawbacks? Yeah, they snore a bit. So if you're hard at hearing, they'll be ideally suited to you. Do you think they spend two thirds of the day asleep on the lounge? No way. Whoa, <laughs> he wants to go. There's no risk they'll spend two thirds of the day jumping on and off the lounge. These are a very active small breed and they suit just about any family. Say good day to the Jack Russell. They have to be one of my favourite breeds of dog. They're easy to look after, great with kids, fantastic companions. One drawback, the odd one can be a bit of a barker. But go, <laughs> see what I mean? They were originally developed by a bloke called Parson John Russell. He was a hunting and fishing and shooting type. Oh, there you go again. And he wanted a dog that could go down the foxhole and flush the fox out at the end of the shoot. And that's what they are, they're terriers. So they're constantly on the move. These guys need a ton of exercise and you need to keep them amused the whole time. If you leave them alone to their own devices, believe you me, they can be quite destructive. But if you've got a couple of them, they usually keep themselves pretty well amused. You would have to know what this particular breed was, wouldn't you? You're right, it's chihuahuas. They are in fact the smallest dog in the world and they've originated, haven't you, eh? from Mexico. These are 10 week old pups and they don't even weigh a kilo at this age. They're very affectionate little dogs, but they are very loyal usually to one or two members of the family and they will in fact guard those people quite strongly. So just be aware, they have that tendency too. Any faults with the breed? Well, unfortunately the odd line does have trouble with their kneecaps, so you need to check that out before you buy them. And uh, look at those eyes too. Because they stick out so far, they can injure them from time to time. But you know, people who've owned a Chihuahua will never ever settle for any other breed of dog. Lulu and I want to have a word to you about what to feed small dogs. Because small dogs need more energy food. Why? Because they lose heat at a much quicker rate than a bigger dog. You need to have a food which is higher in protein and has a reasonable level of fat to sustain them. There's a whole lot of special foods formulated for small breeds. Dry food like this one or a wet food like that one. You can actually mix the dry food with some wet food if your dog prefers that. But the other things to consider are high levels of vitamin B in the food, a kibble size that is small enough for your dog to be able to chew and the absence of any artificial colour or preservative. And bones because chewing on bones, that's the best way to keep their teeth clean. Tonight, we've looked at only a few breeds of what I like to call small dogs. There are stacks more, and all you've got to do is look, and you'll find the right dog to suit your lifestyle and your family. And while they might be small on size, most of them are big on energy, and even more important, you know what? They're big on love, and that's what really counts. Come on, kids, let's go for this walk. We